This video contains spoilers from the world and story of The Forest. Please beware. It was finally done. You have beaten the final boss. Now, tired and worn out, you limp towards your base. Inside, you collapse onto the ground and finally get a good night of rest. In the following days, you feel invincible. None of the other mutants scare you anymore. You're the ruler of this island now. The most dangerous thing. But unbeknownst to you, in the heart of the forest, something is festering. Something small and insignificant now, but soon to become a very dangerous. This was a day like any other. You were chopping down some trees for a gazebo when suddenly you hear the creaking of some trees behind you. You turn and to your surprise, you see several tall trunks topple to the ground in the distance. Huh, must be an angry armsy or something. You ready your weapon and approach the place. You emerge from behind a tree and are treated to a truly grotesque sight. Worms, a dozen of them flopping about on the ground. What is this, you think? But before you're able to analyze it any further, the worms begin to assemble, biting into each other, forming a large, looming shape. Surprised, you fire at it, but it's no use. It just assembles itself again after falling apart. You turn in fear and try to run away, sprinting through the forest, but behind you, the creature, it takes flight. Trees cracking, ground shaking, and a hit to your back which feels like being struck by a train renders everything dark. What you just ran into there was the so-called worm, perhaps the strongest creature one can encounter in the world of the forest, and the topic of today's video. I'll be telling you everything we know about it, including the appearance, behavior, and story, so you know what to do if you ever encounter one. So without any further ado, equip all of your best items, get that creepy armor on, and let's go. Now we've covered several other creepy mutants on the channel already, and if you watch those videos, you probably have a solid idea of what the worm is capable of, but make no mistake here, comparing the worm to an armsy is about the same as comparing regular mutants to the creepy category. Basically, together with the end boss, it's kind of in a league of its own. That's not to say it doesn't have any similarities with the likes of Virginias or Armsies, to be honest. First, it is a fusion of multiple smaller entities to form a single enemy, though here it is a bit more literal, and it happens to be another one of Sahara's failed experiments. That's kind of it though. Other than that, the worm is incredibly unique and incredibly dangerous, made up of many smaller slug-like creatures with teeth that seem to operate under a hive-mind-like structure to form one of this enemy's many forms. Yup, that's right, the worm doesn't just come in one shape. In fact, it is capable of producing several, including a three-legged monster which shakes the ground when it walks, a pillar of worms which will slam into the ground crushing everything in its path, a swarm of disconnected worms making it incredibly hard to focus on a single cell, or the signature flying form which will soar down from the sky, raining death upon all. Now individually, all of these forms can be very dangerous, both to the player directly and to any buildings in its vicinity given the crazy damage output. But before I tell you how to find it and defend yourself against it, let's quickly touch up on the backstory. Now, unfortunately, very little is known about the worm. It doesn't appear in Sahara's slideshow, nor are there any documents about it scattered throughout the island. It is worth noting, however, that in the endgame facility, the player can find a baby bed with several grey specimens and grey mutant babies nearby. This bed bears the name John, which was presumably the original subject to become this creature. How this is related to the rest of the story, or whether it bears any significance, is currently unknown. So with all this information out of the way, where do you find this thing and how do you kill it? Well, starting off, the worm can spawn at any point after day 20, but the chances of it happening are slim at best, so you might not see it for a long time even if you have an endgame save file. The matter in which it can spawn varies as well, you could either get a large swarm of worms all at once, 
or just a single one that will quickly multiply if not defeated. It should be noted here that a worm can also spawn on the surface after defeating the endgame boss and going with the alternate ending. When it comes to defeating this creature itself, there are several ways to go about it. Fire in general is a really good friend of yours since it can damage multiple small worms at once, and other than that, shooting any of its assembled forms will often cause it to fall apart into the much less dangerous swarm, which is definitely something you should do. Also, a small tip, the worm is incapable of destroying the mutant huts already built around the peninsula, so using them for cover and attacking any leftover stray worms is certainly a good way to go about it. Oh, and by the way, thank the lord that this thing does not come in a blue or grey variety, because it's already incredibly powerful and that would probably just be a bit of an overkill. But at the end, I guess you now know everything you need to to survive the endgame of the forest, but just be wary, because even after you defeat the final boss, well, to say the world will remain every dangerous is basically an understatement. But that brings us to the end of the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed and have learned at least something new about the fascinating and terrifying world of the forest. If you liked this video, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. And if you are interested in the other creatures that I've covered up already, make sure to follow up with the eye icon in the corner of your screen and you can check them out there. Now with that, I want to wish you all a beautiful rest of the day and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.